Hey everyone, this is Anthony Frias, your counselor. Today we're going to be talking about career decision making. So a couple of the facts are that nearly a third of students entering college are undeclared. And that helps true for most colleges. 80% of students will change their major at least one time in their college career. So what does this mean? A student changes as a person once they enter college. So what they want to do in high school no longer fits who they are now, or who they've become. It's not uncommon for a student to change their major or have no idea on what they want to do in their life. Choosing a major. So step one, what are your interests? What excites you? What are your hobbies? And what careers appeal to you? So I'd like for you to just jot, jot down some ideas of things that excite you, like hobbies and careers that appeal to you. Next step, step two is for choosing a major is what are your abilities, your strengths and weaknesses, skills, best academic subjects, extracurricular activities, dislikes, math, because uh, so you're not going to do accounting, and if you are faint, if you at the sight of blood, you're not going to go into nursing. So here's some ideas, jot down some um, examples that best fit you. Step three, what are your values? Creativity, helping others, income, independence, risk taking, stability, if you like enjoy working outdoors. So these are things that will help you uh, narrow down a major or even a career. Step four, major career exploration. So make a list of careers that are closely aligned with the previous uh, steps one through three, your skills, values, and interests. Look through the undergraduate catalog to see what majors are available. Don't roll out a career because the school does not offer the degree for that major. If you have any questions about this, feel free to email me. So for your activity and career exploration, complete the interest surveys using the computers. So we have an occupational interest survey and an occupational outlook handbook. Go ahead and click on the links and follow the directions. For, so for a short-term task, uh, I'd like you to meet with the counselor to develop an educational plan, participate in an internship. So you gotta you it, you have to take the initiative to contact the placement office for more information on the internships. Set up a specific timetable. So write down long and short-term goals that guide you toward achieving your career you want, and periodically evaluate those goals. Use your contacts. Network with people in your field before you graduate from college, one day that could come back to pay you. So here's the time where we have any questions.